And I would, and thank you, Joe, for having the show, and um, and another person who's just been committed for so long in um, the sector and has made such a difference. So that's so important. And uh, I should also thank the funding body, Arts Queensland, for helping to fund this project and uh, MAP Media Bank for supplying some equipment for us as well. Mm. I was, uh, yeah, I, I'm sure you were watching Q&A as well recently and Gillian Triggs, the um, president of the Australian Human Rights Commission, actually reminded us um, in a great way that Australia educates women just about better than any other country. Mm which is fabulous. We are number one up there with equal education um, outcomes and rights for women. Um, unfortunately, she also reminded us that we're about 50 or 60 in OECD countries for the benefits of that education. Um, pay gap, uh, retirement funds, um, women in management, um, all of the benefits that flow from education are not flowing to women equally as men. So. That's a very sad indictment on our, our country um, and something that we so desperately need to improve and work on. Um, and in the arts, we also know that we are the most educated. So many artists have more than one degree. Uh, they have more than one field of expertise. They're often working two or three jobs. We are very, very skilled. We are the least paid. So it's, it's this very, it's, you know, so to be a female artist, I mean, this is not good news, is it? But, um, and then when, unfortunately, we look at our art world, uh, male artists are still getting more shows than female artists, um, more solo shows. Their works command higher prices, uh, and, and, and so on. So, um, unfortunately, we have a long way to go um, in terms of gender equity in the arts and Australian society generally. Um, and it makes us continue to ask the same questions over again and to try to not get exhausted um, by those questions. So um, it's, it's not just about numbers though. And so when um, you have a feminist commitment, it is about a very personal question, like what does a feminist practice look like? What is it to be a feminist artist? What is it to be a feminist curator. And I guess this project gave me the opportunity to ask that question again. And it's interesting, <coughs> like life is very short, isn't it? And you get these projects come around and you get to do it differently and you get to do it um, more thoughtfully perhaps or with a different view. Um, and uh, as a curator, you can be seen in almost a default way as like a remote pu puppet master. You can be choosing people and picking favourites or making statements about where directions are going and, and this sort of thing. And, and in some ways, and that's a power, that's a discourse of power and it's very boring and, um, and not necessarily helpful either. Although, please, you know, women need to climb the structures of power, we need to look at those representations of, of, of in the ladder. But um, feminism is much more and it's about, for me, um, an ethics of care. And it's about the way we treat each other, it's about the way we care for ourselves. <laughs> and um, so this project was a really great opportunity. Thank you, Shana. Uh, because Shana and I had a friendship, and so we had a conversation. And, uh, and then we kept meeting as a group with uh, each other, and we grew the project very organically, and I sat back and uh, let that happen and tried not to be too controlling and tried to share the perspective of what a curator has because the curator has this, you know, big picture perspective of what everyone's doing. So why wouldn't everyone have the picture of what everyone's doing? And we all grow it together. And, and, and it worked, I think, and, um, and it's been really great. And then having the project over multiple venues as well. So having the project in Brisbane and then bringing it to Sydney, having the conversation uh, with Joe, with Alaska, um, Art Space 7 Bradley, and, um, and then also having the broad scene. Um, we have a 
free magazine here, which we hope that you'll take away. Um, and uh, so we um, were allowed to invite writers and editors into our group and conversation. And it has been very broad and great and organic and growing and living, infected and all of those things. So um, those words were deliberately chosen that um, art is not a dead object in a white wall sterile space that we so often get portrayed as. It's about all the people that make it happen. And these artworks are the outcomes of processes that are uh, lovely and, and difficult and, and, and um, controversial and uh, all of those things. And, and so many of the artists in this um, show have used participatory processes, performative dimensions to their practice and um, and so I hope that you'll uh, read all of their statements and um, and uh, and yeah and, and familiarise yourself with the story behind um, the the materials that are in this room. Um, and so maybe Shana, can I ask two, for two people to respond? Mm -hmm. Shana, so I'm one of the artists um, in this show. Um, I have drawings over there and a video work. But um, so the whole process, um, as Beth uh, said earlier, started with. Uh, conversation um, that we had um, and for myself you know everyone that's in this room is peers that I've either gone through uni with um, I've observed their practice I was watching them and myself being um, a mother an artist a teacher um, a feminist an advocate um, I just saw this point where um, a lot of young female artists um, or identifying as female were practicing in a certain way and so I was looking for an opportunity to exploit that to start something to start a discourse between us um, for support for supporting each other and um, that's when Beth came to mind of course um, having a long history and working with Beth as well as a curator before and having that close relationship um, you know, it seemed obvious to me. And so we decided to put in a proposal for Metro Arts, which was the first venue that we showcased um, the works. And we had one week, um, and all the artists responded very quickly uh, through social, social media or just through a very simple conversation. Would you be interested? This is an idea, and Beth said to me, I'll be happy to do it so long as you get everyone together. <laughs> so my role has just been sort of a facilitator through connections that I knew networking. And it was also an opportunity for everyone to get to know each other better, you know. Um, not everyone knew each other, even within uh, working in Brisbane. And because the arts is so separate, we're always so solo. And um, I think all the artists will agree that it's also been a process for each other to develop um, their work. Um, certainly for me, I was asking a lot of the artists and people involved in the project to come down to the lake with me to be photographing, to document their experience. So there's been a lot of cross-collaboration, but also in the sense that, you know, when we're developing new works, just supporting each other with the meetings, that they were absolutely vital uh, for developing this project we could have an opportunity to share with each other what we were thinking about doing, um, you know, getting positive feedback, getting best feedback, um, and having those discussions and new ideas coming through. Um, I couldn't have done any of this, or it wouldn't have happened without everyone's positive support. So it just goes to show that I think Brisbane is a really thriving uh, community of feminist-based artists and a lot of new and exciting artists coming through. And has it shown in Brisbane? Yes, it's been uh -huh. shown in Brisbane back in Great. April. So it was first shown yeah. in Brisbane uh, in April at Metro Arts. Um, and then this venue here is a touring show. But it's an ongoing, evolving discourse. You know, I hope it doesn't stop here. I hope it keeps going. I hope something happens again and even around Brisbane I've noticed that there's been you know more discourse around feminism uh, there was talks at Burma last week and still ongoing about women uh, women practice um, science technology there was talks um, over at the uh, South Bank TAFE one women's project happening as well so there's a lot of things happening in and around Brisbane and there's also more artists 
who have come forward to me asking, hey, you know, let's start something as well, you know, collaborative processes. So that's really exciting, and I think it's a really exciting time to be a woman and to be an artist and to, um, yeah. Thank you to all the artists, that's all I can say. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to also talk about the environmental aspect of the exhibition um, because, uh, again, like I, when I was a younger curator, and maybe I wasn't taken seriously enough, but I did try to curate an eco-feminist show in my 20s, and, um, and, and it, this is funny because some of the women in this uh, project have sort of said, well, what was it like being a feminist when you were young? Like, and it's like, oh my god, I'm so old. And, uh, and yes, it has changed. And, it has changed. Um, and that's been great. And it's been great to be able to reflect. And, and feminism is an expansive, um, you know, it, we're not, it's not an ideology, it's not a rule um, based thing. I guess it comes back to not so much being climbing the ladder of power as being involved in this ethics of care because the way we treat our environment has got to be the same as the way we treat each other and um, and uh, at least kind of starting at that at that um, very fundamental cycle and I was um, reading about uh, a guy who was talking about environmentalism and saying that one has to be weak and I thought wow that's a really strange thing to say and and quite a provocative thing and and the idea he was trying to put forward was that um, we're all wounded, we're all partial subjects, we're all um, um, wounded subjects, partial objects, and uh, and the only way forward through um, these very vexing times and this um, planet under stress is to acknowledge that and to hold each other's hands to or to coexist with as many other wounded creatures as we can um, and, um, and 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 yeah and to support each other in that really um, uh, basic way and I think um, there's something quite challenging and quite radical about that and I like that idea uh, that yes perhaps um, uh, women more often the weaker sex or that you know this idea of being uh, feminine is somehow weak or and um, but isn't it about um, women being the workers the care workers the ones who do clean up the ones who um, um, who really care for each other and don't we have so much to learn don't we have so much to do so much cleaning up to do um, in this on this planet on this toxic increasingly toxic and poisoned planet that we're creating so I think um, yeah it, it is a radical call it's a provocative term but I like the idea that I was somehow a weak curator during this uh, this project and um, and I allowed myself to sort of experience that and hopefully reveal um, that to others um, and um, and then of course uh, the, the most provocative kind of idea of the wounded subject that women have a special claim to which is um, uh, the um, uh, the bleeding birth canal the uh, vagina the ultimate sort of wound and we're uh, and that we're both uh, the site of uh, uh, you know abject horror and 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 desire uh, so we, we, we kind of have a special claim to that territory, I think, and I, I sort of, the, so I've asked Mary to respond to, to, uh, to, to that because of her artwork, a video artwork called um, Gash. <laughs> at the car park to check that out. Um, my, yeah, my artwork's called Gash and it is specifically a sort of portrait of my Gash. Um, I start from a place of um, abjection. Chris Daver is um, sort, of, sort of one of my foundational philosophers, I suppose. I'm interested in the messy details, the gaping holes, the places that are the most feared, the abject places. And I'm interested in the way that society also often casts out the abject um, or reject the abject and how this is often explored through cinema in horror specifically. So yeah, so yeah, so I, I'm uh, like an advocate for. Um, I, I do call myself uh, an eco-feminist. I'm not afraid of, of the badges that that sometimes because I, you know, I, I do like trees. I've got a big thing for trees and for and for soil and for that. And I do try and 
um, combine those more disgusting elements with this to try and confront people and try and change some of those social norms. So yeah, so I'm um, yeah, so I've, I've loved this process. I think this has been great, and I think that the artwork that has been created is and the juxtaposition of all of these different practices has just been thrilling as a process. So thank you very much. Thank you.